Good morning. Good morning. Adrian Wojnarowski just dropped a bomb this morning. The Lakers is not hiring J.J. Redick. They are not selling a soul to LeBron James. They're going to try to hire UConn's head coach, back-to-back national championship coach, Dan Hurley, which is the brother of the of the Duke alumnus great Bobby Hurley. Woo, this is this is mind-blowing. LeBron James is gone. I'm telling you, this is a confirmation that LeBron James is leaving the Lakers. And I know I look a little dusty this morning. I don't care. But LeBron James He's gone because LeBron been pushing for months for the Lakers to hire J.J. Redick. And then the Lakers somehow say, okay, we're going to hire J.J. Redick. And then they went right behind LeBron James's back. And they're trying to hire Dan Hurley. And they're offering him a massive contract. We talking about a massive long-term contract because the Lakers also confirmed this what Adrian Rosanowski said that they do not want to switch coaches every couple years means they're taking a direct shot at LeBron saying you're not going to run our franchise we are and here's the thing LeBron is not staying for no Dan Hurley I'm, I'm sorry I'm serious he's not staying he's gone and I'm saying LeBron is either going to the Knicks the Warriors or the Sixers. That's three teams. Or the Phoenix Suns because Devin Booker in Phoenix is pushing the management to go get LeBron. That means they're going to have to trade Bradley Beal to get LeBron. So if the Lakers is hiring this coach, which Adrian Rojanowski dropped that bomb and said, most likely LeBron's out of here. Free agency, he's gone he's not coming back to the lakers this is crazy news and it's gonna be crazy uh uh off season it, uh, it, 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 it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be crazy because lebron james is he, he he's done with the lakers now and i know he's furious behind closed doors because he did this little stupid podcast, which is a great podcast, but he did the podcast with J.J. Reddick, making J.J. Reddick auditioning his coaching skills and and how he's going to coach this team and all that. And he and then LeBron was trying to manipulate the media, manipulate the management, telling management he want to play with Bronny and all that. The Lakers was like, no, we're not selling our soul to you. Now, the Lakers, only thing they're going to do, they're going to offer LeBron the max, the massive contract extension, which is going to be like three years, uh, a hundred and uh, uh, three, I think it's like three years, $200 million, which he's going to get like $60, $70 million a year, something like that. But that's all they're going to do for LeBron. And LeBron going to turn that contract down and he's going to, Force the Lakers try to do some drastic moves, but now the Lakers are standing firm, standing pat. They're not gonna change for LeBron. Cause, cause now here's the crazy thing: the Lakers are in that advanced talking stage with Dan Hurley. Cause they've been targeting Dan Hurley for the last two years, and LeBron ain't gonna take no college coach in as no head coach. He's gonna leave. That's it. LeBron is gone. He's going somewhere else this offseason. So tell me what you think. The Lakers did not sell out. They did not sell their soul to the king. This is crazy.